and stole a great script, but I'm the one that's the hound. I'm the one that said, let's get her done. Wait, kid. Wait, I need your help. Here it is. 50 50. Hey, you know what? Back off. You just back off. Whoa, no, come on up. Stop! Oh! I don't need you, and you don't need me anymore. That's what it takes to write something really great. I'm Dr. Evan. Welcome to Fan Pop. Today we're talking with actor James Wilder, known for his television work in Melrose Place, Models Inc., as well as Equal Justice, and he's done dozens of films, including most recently Three Holes and a Smoking Gun, for which he has won four Best Actor Awards at various international film festivals. James, thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. My pleasure. Glad to be here. So tell us about your character in Three Holes and the Smoking Gun. Uh, that character is really like a winner that lost it all from screwing it up. And you kind of jump into his life after he's lost it all. So you kind of take that journey if he's going to if he's going to have his comeback. He was a writer a uh, Hollywood writer, and he basically became royalty in Hollywood with a couple big hit films, et cetera, et cetera, and then kind of abused the privileges, so to speak, uh, something that can and does happen, and was just absolutely dethroned, you know, perfect uh, public execution, so to speak. How did you end up uh, working on the project, or how did the project find you? I was at a bar named after a writer, Ernest Hemingway, and a writer came up to me, tapped me on the shoulder and said, hi, my name is uh, Scott. And I said, how are you doing? How can I help you? And he said, well, I have a script. I'm really interested in having you look at it. And I said, really? Uh, OK. And he said, you know, I'm a writer. And I said, what's the story about? He says, well, it's a story about a writer. I said, really, you're a writer talking to me in a bar named after a writer about the story of a writer? I said, is Ashton Kutcher going to jump out and like punk me any second here. Uh, he said, no, it really did happen that way. It's very rare that things happen that way. Nice. So. Uh, we have a question from FanPop fan named Mango, who asks... That's a cool name. Isn't it? Uh, yeah. Um, he wants to know, uh, ask James what he looks for when deciding to do a film project. Hmm. So... I started as a street performer, I think in the area that you're in, San Francisco, you're in San Francisco area yeah, now. Yeah, that's us right now. Yeah, that's, that, that looks like Potrero Hill or, uh, from the background. But um, anyway, uh, as a street performer in a one-man show, I was able to do it all. So I, you know, I can massage the thing to get it to where it needs to be. When you're doing a movie, it's like 100 people that are involved in it, so it has to have financing. Because you can't get 100 people to work for free, unfortunately. And so the first thing is financing. If you are financed, right. you want to really look into it and see if, uh, you know, you can do something with this part. If you're going to have a, you know, if you can deliver what it is they're asking. I also understand uh, you were on Melrose Place, which is a, a very different kind of show compared to some of the, the film work that you've done. How did you end up working on that project? I did a project that was called Cracked Up. This was financed secretly by Aaron Spelling. Uh, later, he asked me if I would come do an arc on the show, Melrose Place, because I really wasn't interested in doing television at that time when Melrose Place started up. So uh, he called me from Las Vegas and he was gambling. <laughs> He's very much a great, he's a really cool character. And he said, hey, what's your favorite movie? And I said, it's Dead Calm with Billy Zane. We'll do an arc just like that. Just come on and do a six show arc. And I was like, really? And he said, yeah, you got my word on it. So I came and I did that. And it was an arc pretty much that, that tried to take some influence from the movie Dead Calm. It's one of my favorite movies. Nicole Kidman and Billy Zane. Nice, nice. Uh, we have another question from Melrose Fan, uh, who writes, I know you've done both TV, like Melrose Place, and lots of indie films. What do you like best about each of them? They're two completely different animals. So television gives you consistency, and it gives you exposure, 
and it gives you a great financial security. Independent film is more dangerous in a territory, but it seems to get you more critical acclaim when it goes right. Yeah. Great, James. Thanks. And uh, before you go, what are you a fan of? I'm a big fan of steampunk. Steampunk mm. is, it's many things. It's a style. I, I have a necklace. It's watch parts. It's mixing metals. It's uh, something that I feel will be and is starting to migrate as sort of a fashion trend. It will be huge when like Dolce Gabbana starts to bring it in. Uh, more and more, but I personally use it building retro motorcycles, uh, cappuccino makers, kind of like uh, art sculpture out of uh, elements that are steampunk that have a function to. Nice. So where are you at right now? It's, it looks gorgeous. Where, what, where are you, where are you uh, calling us in from? This is my house uh, that I built from the ground up. Designed it uh, ground up. I mean, just dirt. That's all that was here when I got started. Nice. Would you be able to show us around a little bit? I can, actually. Nice. Let's see how that photo is. Oh, there we go. Kind of. See, I built these doors and the hinges on those doors. Oh, wow. Look at that. With a cutting torch. Yeah. So I found like things at different auctions. Like this was just some abandoned chest and I turned it into a uh, double sink. And then I kind of did this room that was my dedication to the Magic Castle. These are all, let's see, I'll flip you around here. There we go. Those look like, those look like, are they playing cards? Yeah, those are playing cards on the wall. I think you can see, yeah. Yeah, there's, uh, there's five royal flushes up there. And I always tell people, if you can find all five royal flushes in under three minutes, I'll give you the house. <laughs> this is an elevator that I put in the house. It says I built this elevator cage. Let's see. We'll go into the elevator. That's one of those classic kind of European open air. Yeah, exactly. See, we're traveling in it now, I think. I don't know if you're getting a sense of motion. Yeah, yeah. Yep. there you go. Oh, this is the top. That's Los Angeles out there, but I think it's too, the light's too hot, right? A little bit. Yeah. Let's see. That's the city. Oh, yeah. You can see it. Cool. Nice. All right, man. James Wilder of Three Holes in a Smoking Gun. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dr. Evan for Fan Pop. And remember, we ask celebrities interview questions from our subscribers. Subscribe to us on YouTube. You'll be the first to know when we're taking questions for our next interview.